Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today I'd like to do something a little different. It's, uh, it's sort of fun. Um, every other year they have this auction called the Only Watch Auction. And the, the participating watch companies are to contribute one watch that's the only model of that particular watch that they've ever made. And uh, you get all kinds of wild stuff uh, in there. Some of them, some of the watches they have are like ones that no one would ever buy because they're sort of like, let's try this out. And they can tell right away it doesn't work too well. Take a look at the Beauvais. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> anyway, other ones are just experimental. I think uh, Ac Rivia has one that looks very experimental. In fact, what they what they had was pretty, you know, you couldn't really tell for sure uh, what it was, but it was interesting. And so uh, today what I'd like to do, I'd like to uh, talk about three watches. Uh, one, the one that I think is going to bring the most money from this auction. Uh, two, the one that's going to bring the least. And three, the one I like to have, uh, they're not all the same <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Now, um, picking the one I'm pretty sure is going to bring the most is this Francis Ford Coppola in Venet and Fessy by Francois Paul Journe. In other words, it's a F.P. Journe watch. He got the idea from Francis Ford Coppola, and he's given him full credit. It's called the FFC Blue, Francis Ford Coppola Blue. And it's this mechanical hand that has the time, and it goes one, two, three, four, five, and then it does some other stuff for the other, for up to 12. And uh, it's an automatic, and... <laughs> It's a wild watch, and I think that is it's so unique and so interesting. I, I have a feeling this is going to have the highest amount. I mean, sometimes these watches will go for over a million dollars. On the other end, the one I don't think is going to bring in that much, and it's one that, uh, you know, the likes of us might even have a shot at bidding on, is this very unusual Tudor Black Bay GMT-1. Now, Tudor has entered, it seems like, the same watch into the Grand Prix every year for I don't know how long, and they have a new paint job or this or that on it and decide it's a new watch, and they a lot of times, very often, win. Uh, this one, though, um, this one looks like it was sort of come from a train wreck, but it gives it a very... I don't know, rugged, modern look, and uh, almost spooky. Uh, not quite gothic, but close. And, and in a way, I like it, but it, it just, it just, it is a Tudor Black Bay GMT-1. By the way, too, I really like the GMT uh, model of the Black Bay, but I just don't think they're going to get that much money for it. One of the watches, some, some watches may be so odd and so off. They may end up not having a very high bid. Uh, uh, but this one, I think, would be two things. Probably, the, it, it's got the lowest estimate, and I think they're right about that. I don't think it's going to bring a lot of money in, but I think it's going to bring in more than they think, because a lot of people say, boy, I'd like to get an only watch, and this is something that would be sort of within what I call hand grenade uh, range of what uh, someone may want to get. So, this may go for more. There's a watch that I think is on the lower end from Maurice Lacroix that's really very interesting that I saw that. He was, you know, how come they have this as the only watch? There's some other ones, too, that uh, you take a look at. Now, the final watch is this, the one that I want. I looked at all of these watches, and I thought, well, which one would be a nice one to have? And I came up with this Romain Gauthier Continuum Only Watch. Titanium grade five caliber, and the caliber is a new caliber called uh, Continuum. That's one of the problems. I think they they really don't have a lot of information about the movement on these, and I, this is 
looking back on a few things, probably a four hertz movement, but not something I like, but you know, that's okay. This watch is just an interesting watch, I think. It's uh, time only, uh, three-handed watch, nothing, doesn't do anything miraculous, probably keeps excellent time. And it just that uh, the fact is, is that uh, I have a great deal of faith in the movements and watches made by Romain Gauthier. Um, check out the Only Watch website, and it just, uh, I think it says onlywatch.com, all right, only watch being one word. And look at all the watches, and uh, I'd like to see what you pick. I'd like to see which one you think will bring the most, which will bring the least, and which one you'd like to have the most. Let me know in the comments section. Till next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of watch collection. This is an opportunity to subscribe if you'd like.